Hi there. So uh, today's a big day. I'm uh, uh, in a couple hours. I'm going to go meet with the bishop for a temple recommend interview, and I will be lying through my teeth to him uh, in order to get it. Let's see if his power of discernment works. As you can see, I I've got my magic underwear on with the uh, little markings there, and I'm actually not wearing the. Uh, the, the the bottom uh, underwear though I'm just wearing some regular you know Hanes boxer briefs or something or other I I absolutely can't stand those garment underwear they ride up and so I don't really need to wear them I do need to wear the top though because people need to be able to see the the eternal smile as you can see they're kind of see through uh, or the shirt I'm wearing is kind of see through so that people can see that I'm wearing garments uh, or at least the top. Um, I suspect this meeting with the bishop tonight is going to go one of two ways. Either I'm going to walk out of there with a recommend signed by him, and then I need to get the signature from the stake president or a member of the stake presidency this coming Sunday. Today's Wednesday. Or I'm going to be caught and probably be arrested for uh, trespassing, I'm guessing. Um, I'm pretty confident I'm not going to get caught. Uh, I, I'm not positive. I'd say I'm 98% sure I'm going to get away with it. Uh, but 2% of me says I'm going to jail tonight. So I'm wearing uh, one of my nicer pairs of slacks. I'm wearing some some nice, uh, what are they, Ariel socks. I'm going to wear my really good shoes today because if I'm going to jail tonight, uh, I, I want to look at least as good as possible. But... Um, I am, uh, I'm getting ready. Well, I'm ready to go. Uh, this is my complete costume here. <laughs> this is my Mormon outfit. Uh, I can't see a damn thing through these glasses. Um, I, I, I think you could actually call me legally blind with these glasses. But they seem to do the trick. Usually uh, at church, I'm kind of wearing them down on my nose a little bit like this. And uh, and, and so when I talk with people and looking at them, I'm, I'm kind of looking at them just like this with, you know, it's kind of blocks my eyes and helps disguise me a little bit. But this is ridiculous. Uh, I look like a... Uh, A 49-year-old high Mormon high priest, and the funny thing is, is that I have never been a high priest before. So this is kind of new for me. I left the church when I was 33 years old, so I've never been uh, in the high priest group, which I am now, uh, but never been there. So it's okay. Uh, it's easier to sleep in there for most people. I'm I'm too busy recording and stuff, so. I don't really get much sleep. I have to pay attention. Um, wish me luck. I'm going to uh, hopefully get uh, the first signature on my temple recommend and hopefully not uh, get arrested and go to jail. That would suck. Very good. Well, why don't we have a quick prayer and then we'll go through these questions. Okay. Okay, so, okay if I say up? Yes, please. Our eternal Father in heaven, we bow before thee and address thee in prayer with gratitude unto thee for our many blessings. We're grateful for Brother and then to have him as a member of our ward. We're grateful for his spirit and for the great man that he is and for his devotion to family and to we pray that as we contemplate the uh, temple and the power that it has in our lives and go through the interview process thy spirit might attend us that he might feel of that and that he might feel of thy love for him grateful for thy son for his atoning sacrifice and for the blessing it is in our lives and the ability we have to overcome the difficulties of mortality we pray that we might always be cognizant of our purposes here on earth and that we might be focused on the eternal perspective we're grateful father for the spirit ask for it to be with us and attend us throughout this week and we say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Okay. Well, the first question is, do you have faith in a testimony of God, the Eternal Father, His Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Ghost? Absolutely. 
Do you have a um, testimony of the atonement of Christ and in his role as Savior and Redeemer? I do. And do you have a testimony of the restoration of the gospel in these latter days? Very much so. Do you uh, sustain the president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints as the prophet, seer, and revelator, and as the only person on the earth who possesses and is authorized to exercise the whole priesthood keys? Yes. Do you sustain the other members of the First Presidency in the Corner of the Twelve Apostles as prophets, seers, and revelators? Absolutely. And do you sustain the other general authorities and local authorities of the Church? Yes. Do you live a lot of chastity? Absolutely. Is there anything in your conduct relating to members of your family that is not in harmony with the teachings of the Church? No. Do you support, affiliate with, or agree with any group or individual whose practices or teachings are contrary to proposals accepted by the church? <laughs> Besides my grandmother? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, no, you can't change your family. <laughs> um, do you strive to keep the covenants that you made and to attend your sacrament and priesthood meetings and to keep your life in harmony with the laws and commandments of the gospel? Yes. Um, are you honest in your dealings with your fellow man? Absolutely. And are you a full tithe bearer? I am. That's, you know, it's real easy when you don't make any money. I, yeah. I, I, I pay a generous fast offering. Um, but, yeah, it's, I've never had an easier time paying tithing when, when I'm not making anything. <laughs> Understood. Uh, you keep the word of wisdom? Yes. Uh, do you have financial or other obligations to a former spouse or children? Not that I'm not paying. <laughs> That's the next question. If it's yes, uh, do you... Um, so I guess technically yes it is, and yes I am. Okay. All right. What was it? What is the, the follow-up question? Are you current on your payments? Yes. Yes. Are you current in meeting those obligations? Yes, I am. Okay. Um, do you keep the covenants that you made in the temple? Yes. And do you wear the garment both night and day in accordance with the covenants that you made in the temple, um, uh, or in a, and as instructed in the endowment in accordance with the covenants you made in the temple? Yes. Have there been any sins or misdeeds in your life that should have been resolved with priesthood before you have not been? No. And you consider yourself worthy to enter the Lord's house and to participate in temple ordinances? Very much so. Okay. First Presidency is asked that when we issue temple recommends we read the statement on the garment. It's probably not going to be anything you don't already know after being a member as long as you have. But um, I'll go ahead and read it. And that way we can both say that we've heard it. Um, wearing the temple garment is a sacred privilege of those that have taken upon themselves the covenants of the temple. The garment is a reminder of these covenants, and when properly worn, will serve as a protection against temptation and evil. It's expected that members will wear the garment both night and day according to the covenants made in the temple. Members should not adjust the garment or wear it contrary to instructions in order to accommodate different styles of clothing, even when such clothing may be generally accepted. The garment should not be removed either entirely or partially to work in the yard or for other activities that can reasonably be done with the garment when worn properly beneath the clothing. Members who have made covenants in the temple should be guided by the Holy Spirit to answer for themselves personal questions about the wearing of the garment. These sacred covenants are between the member and the Lord, and the proper wearing of the garment is an outward expression of an inner commitment to follow the Savior Jesus Christ. Okay. They added this um, working outside in the yard piece. Yeah, I used to. Uh, when did they add that? I was uh, second counselor in the bishopric uh, a number of years ago, and I was going to say, I, I don't recall uh, that. Yeah, it, it made me wonder, where in the church is this a problem? I know here in Phoenix, it gets bloody and yeah, hot yeah. sometimes, but I, I don't know that it was a problem. Uh, you know, it, it must have been a problem somewhere. They yeah. wouldn't have put it in there. Yeah, so... All right, I didn't. Uh, I just turned fifty, and my eyes went. I turned uh, my my birthday. I turned fifty years old, and then. Okay, <laughs> that was when I saw my eyes change, and I was like, "You got to be kidding me!" Just a year, and all that stuff happened. I love those chairs, but I'm kind of partial to purple. It's my favorite color. Oh, is it? Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, they are really cool. They're very unique for a bishop's office, too. I was surprised when they bought those. I didn't think church facilities had that kind of taste. <laughs> yeah, they're nice. Yeah. I thought they were much more conservative is what I mean. I didn't mean they didn't have good taste. I guess I should clarify that. <laughs> <laughs>
you know, I told uh, if I'm still here with your great grandma when you get off your mission, would you consider moving to the Phoenix and and actually doing your homecoming in in this ward? Right. And uh, he's totally open to it because he wants to go to ASU and and really? and so there's a possibility. We'll see. You know if if she's uh, if she's still with us come uh, you know January. Um, yeah, I might uh, might be talking with you about having my son uh, be in the ward and and do yeah. his homecoming in this ward. We welcome it. That would be awesome. Our former president. Mm -hmm. um, he has the same situation. His ex-wife's up north in Utah, and right above my signature there. He um, he had his kids go on missions, and it was uh, same kind of thing. We we accommodate that. In fact, we'll have a report here shortly from somebody that's not in our ward that left from our ward. There's connections that get made, you know, and. Uh, oh yeah, we have families. Aunt. When he moved in, mm -hmm. his daughter was just getting ready. She was at uh, BYU Idaho. She was getting ready to move in, and um, so that's one of the best kind of sacraments. Yeah. Oh yeah, I love a good missionary homecoming. Well, I don't know what's better, missionary farewell or missionary homecoming. Well, I'd say the homecoming. Homecomings, homecomings are homecomings always. Tell you so much. About yeah, that. if you don't mind, could we step back in your office and and let me sure have a. Maybe leave you with a prayer, and, and would you allow me to 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 say a prayer uh, for for you? Sure. Um, I your health situation here. Um, yeah, it, it. I just I like to kind of give a blessing to you, so to speak. You know what I mean? Sure, that'd be fine. I appreciate it. My dear Father in heaven. I'm grateful for the gospel we have and the opportunity we have to share it with others. And this time I'd ask thee to grant Bishop a special blessing. Uh, bless him with the, the gift of tongues that he may be able to speak the, the language of love and, and be able to speak to the hearts of the members of his ward that he serves and that he will be blessed with the, the power of discernment to discern the needs of, of those in his ward and and know what they need and and be able to serve them to the best of, of his ability and, and please bless his counselors uh, brother and brother that they also will be guided by the Spirit. And uh, I ask you at this time to get a special blessing of health upon uh, Bishop <laughs> that, uh, that he will have, have no more health problems, that uh, those will all be in his past, and that he will uh, be able to serve in a capacity that uh, that will be uninhibited at all with any health issues or problems and ask for a special blessing upon the missionaries in the world uh, especially uh, the missionaries serving from this ward and and my sweet son that they will be protected and they will be sheltered from from harm and guided by thy spirit uh, to, to find those who are, are ready to hear the gospel. And I ask you to bless us that we will uh, be drive home safely this evening and, and get home uh, without any troubles. And, and these things I pray for in the name of thy son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. You're um, very welcome. I, uh, I, I look forward to, to uh, you know, serving the word. I know I, I kind of just stole somebody's job this past Sunday, handing out programs because they don't really have a <laughs> calling, and, and I don't know, honestly, in the cap what capacity I could serve in, but uh, whatever, you know, 
Well, you served as a councilor and bishopric, your high priest. So you probably served in a number of capacities. Uh, primarily with with the youth, uh, young men, yeah, right? young men, and and um, yeah, it, it's you know. I don't know. I, I, I obviously I have to talk with my grandmother if I wind up uh, doing a calling. If there's anything that would have take a, an inordinate amount of time because she's uh, well, you know, uh, I, she's getting uh, attached to her aid that comes in on Sunday. So I, I don't know. That might not might be a problem. So okay. we'll see. But well, well, you know, Sunday callings that you're going to be here anyway. The week callings sound like they might weekday callings like young men and women might be a bit of a yeah that uh, might be difficult. Yeah. So um, we'll certainly put you to work. I appreciate you offering. <laughs> so, Thank you. It was really wonderful to get to know you a little bit, and I am so grateful to have you in the ward. And I let me know if there's anything we can do for you. Yes. I'm sorry it took this long for us to connect. Nah, no, it's <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you, Bishop. You, bet. you have a, a great rest of your week. You too. Ding, 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 ding. A winner, winner, chicken dinner. Now I need to get a signature from the stake president this Sunday. Shouldn't be a problem. I asked for a blessing. Uh, I gave the bishop, rather, a blessing, uh, a blessing with the power of discernment, because um, clearly he doesn't have it. Uh, ironically, uh, the bishop is a former FBI agent. Whew, you'd think an FBI agent, a former FBI agent, would have the power of discernment, but not so much. Not so much.